So the mom was going on an overnight trip and the dad just had some something going on. I was supposed to stay till 12 when the dad would be home, but I did not see the dad because he was already gone when I got there. I only saw the mom. But keep in mind, I've been babysitting for these people at that point. I think it was on like month four and I did like one night a month for like their date nights, but this just happened to be that. So I did not see the dad until he came home at like 1030. So the dad came home at 1030 and I thought it was odd, obviously, because yeah, so I like got up and I was like, oh, hi. And then a like lady came in behind him and I was like, what the hell is this? And then he was like, oh, we're home early. And I was like, who's we? I was like, oh, I haven't had the chance to meet you. Like, hi, I'm Lily. I'm their babysitter. And then, she, and then he was like, why are you introducing yourself to my wife? And I literally sat there like this. I was like, huh? And then I was like, there's no way you're trying to like gas I mean to thinking that that's your wife. I know what your wife looks like. So what? And then he was like, you don't know what you're talking. And then he was trying to like, you just tell me. And I was like, okay, no, here's what's going to happen. You can pay me $750 in cash and I won't say anything to her. And then he was like, $750, and I was like, pay it, or I'll literally FaceTime her right now. Then he was like, okay, okay. So then he ended up giving me $800 in cash. He was like, you won't tell anyone to her. I was like, no, I won't tell her. Lying. So then I was like, all right, peace out. I left, and then, but I actually didn't leave. I purposely left my book um, on one of the kitchen chairs, so I'd have an excuse to go back the next day when the wife was back home. And then I left out the front door, but then I snuck into the backyard and I took a picture through the sliding doors of them kissing in the kitchen so I had proof because that is a big accusation to walk around and say, your husband of 13 years is cheating on you. I don't want to be like that. So I took my little picture. I took a picture and a video actually. And then I left, went home. And then I called the wife two days later when she got back from her trip. And I was like, hi, like I said, I left my book there. Do you mind if I pick it up? She was like, yeah, of course. Come on over, honey. I knew he was at work because I didn't want to do while he was there because I'm kind of scared of him. Just a little. And then I was like, yeah, I'm so sorry to tell you, but this is, and this happened, I just recounted the story, and then I showed her proof, and she was like, oh, what? Like, that's not a And then I took her to her appointment with her divorce lawyer. I'm um, still babysitting for her today, and that's it. And I don't know what happened to him, but uh, the settlement was nice, that's all I know. So the mom is going. The settlement was nice, that's, you're a fool. You're a fool. That's what you are, a, a serious fool. You just put your life in serious danger without you even knowing. She's such a fool. You're a fool. This is some this is some serious danger you just put yourself in. Why would you put yourself in a situation that doesn't concern you? You're a babysitter. Go there, babysit. Get your ass out of there. You black you, you blackmailed the man. Took his money. And then went back, told the wife. So you just broke, well, you didn't break the marriage, but you facilitated in breaking the marriage and breaking someone's home. Now, that, that kid's going to grow up without a father. Do you think if that kid sees this video later on in the future, he's going to thank you for it? Are you you're mad? You see, this is what they teach them in the school system. This whole girl code. You know, stick, stick, stick to the 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 sister sisterhood, the sorority nonsense. The man automatically is the enemy when he goes to these high institutions where they brainwash these girls through the whole feminist way. This is what they teach them. The man is the enemy. You're going, to, you're babysitting for some people, and the man is having an extramarital affair. How's that your business? You just put your life in serious danger because some men, when they feel like they're being threatened, like their family is going to get taken away from them, if that's their sense of belonging, if that's their sense of pride, that's all they know. And they feel like someone's trying to take that away from them. You end up going, going missing. You end up being, be, being in a milk carton or something. You just endangered yourself, man. This all manner of stuff could have happened to you. And also telling the woman this. Do you think some of these women don't already know that this is that their husbands are doing this? You feel like oh, it's your duty to go and tell this woman. It's not your duty. What if that woman have hurt you herself? I was just in a situation where a husband and a wife are having physical altercations, and then someone else comes in to try to separate the fight, and then the wife ends up hurting that person, or the husband ends up hurting that person. That came to put their nose in the business. Because you never know what couples are, are, are going through. What's their way of doing things. Why would you stick your nose in? And also this man man. 
How much of a loser can you be? How much is a hotel room? You couldn't pay for a for, for motel no hotel and just take your side piece there and do what you have to do? You have to bring her home? <laughs> no, these out there, man. All these girls are fishing for evidence against men all the time. You're public enemy number one. This is what they've been taught. <laughs> what? You endangered yourself. You fool. You fool. Don't you mind your business, people. <laughs>